Today, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are coming together to remember the life of a state representative who fought passionately for the people of Hamtramck and Detroit. Representative Isaac Robinson died yesterday at the hospital. While never tested, his mother tells 7 Action News she suspects he had COVID-19. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live with a look at his legacy. And Kim, so many people are sharing so many great memories. I had the pleasure of meeting Representative Isaac Robinson numerous times. And one thing that sticks out in my mind is how enthusiastic he was about his job. He would send me text messages about issues he thought we should be covering or bills he was working on. And there would always be a lot of all caps and exclamation points, multiple exclamation points. There are few people who are as passionate about their work as he was. This is Representative Isaac Robinson. His mom, former state rep Rosemary Robinson, says she suspects he had COVID-19. He went to the hospital Sunday morning because he started having trouble breathing. He died hours later. He represented the 4th District, which includes Hamtramck and part of Detroit. They're shutting things down immediately. They should get support immediately. This is video of him at his last press conference called to expose the needs of the poor and working class families suffering due to the outbreak of COVID-19. That was his last press conference fighting for the people. Representative Sherry Gay Dagnogo of Detroit says people thought she was passionate about issues. Then Representative Robinson got elected. This big white guy that you forget he's white <laughs> because he fights like he is diehard Detroit to the core and he's yelling on the floor. They're mad at him. They want him to apologize. I just was like, I'm not apologizing. I'm just trying to let them know. He had a big heart and um, a moral compass that drove all the work that he did on the behalf of the people he represented. Numerous Republican colleagues offered condolences with House Speaker Lee Chatfield saying he had a big heart, fought hard for his beliefs, and fought even harder for the people he served so honorably. Democrats who worked closely with him spoke about what we should do to honor him. We really need to make sure that we're doing our best to look out for others. I think that's one of the biggest things that Isaac stood for. And, and just tell everybody, you know, if you don't have to go out, stay home. Stay home, stay safe, stay alive. Taking a look at the issues he reached out to me about repetitively, we're talking the environment, working for the poor, and stopping foreclosures. Just a few of the things that he fought for. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. He certainly made his passion known. Thank you so much, Kim.